Hey everyone, a quick what's on my hook kind of update. So I showed you the beginning of this uh, top and well, what can I say? I think I really, really like the design, but the measurements are kind of really, really off uh, for me personally. I think I matched the gauge, but I'm not using the same yarn that the designer used. And yeah, so I decided like <laughs> the first attempt that I made at the size that I thought would work for me according to the measurements given uh, was way too big. So usually I'm kind of a medium or small depending on the size. So instead of the medium, I went too small and this is still like way too big. And also I decided that this yarn, while I'm really, really enjoying it, this is the cotton bamboo light from Ice Yarns. And I think it's beautiful, but I think it's more like, I think I will use it more for either make something that is very, very open and do kind of like a beach top or something like that. I actually saw a pattern on, um, on YouTube that I might try or a light, type of like cardigan or even uh, like a sweater or something like this. But I think for a summer top, I think it's a bit too thick. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. So this will all be frogged. It's way too big for me, even the size small. And you know, she has also measurements for extra small. I think that's still too big. So I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure I might check again, but I'm pretty sure I matched the gauge. So I don't, yeah, maybe just like my body has different, very different measurements than kind of the standard. I, I don't know. I never thought that, but uh, that's, that's the thing with uh, doing with crocheting garments. I think you always have to kind of keep an open mind to having um, to make changes that fit your body and kind of not be afraid of it because otherwise you might end up with just garments that don't fit properly. So I decided to switch gears and I switched, uh, first of all, I switched to a lighter and thinner yarn. So uh, I guess, I don't know if you can see, but like this is much lighter than this. Um, this is Modal Baby from Ice Yarns. It is, I think, like 50% Modal, 50% acrylic. So it's a blend. And it is very, very nice to work with. There is a kind of minimal splitting. And it also has like almost like a finish that kind of reminds me a little bit. It's not like as intense as... You know, like I actually saw it recently again, this fabric at H&M, um, kind of like that clothes that have a bit of like the towel kind of fabric look. I'm not sure if you know what I mean. I think that thing has been, hasn't been around for like a long time and is now making somewhat of a comeback. It's like somewhere between like suede and velvet and towel. <laughs> so it kind of reminds me something about it reminds me of it but uh, it's really really nice to work with very I think like user-friendly yarn and it does have you know it's 50% like synthetic but uh, I think it'll work so what I did this time instead of starting with a chain row like the pattern I started with a uh, half double crochet foundation row and this way I could just measure my, you know, the, the width that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be slightly narrower than my shoulders. And, and it turned out to be like, this is even a, a thinner yarn. And I think her small, her extra small size has 60 um, stitches like 60 chains at the beginning and I did 52 and I'm not ex I'm not petite I'm not extra small so I don't know it's just like the sizes were way way off but uh, I really like the design and again what I 
<laughs> what I did, I should have paid a bit more attention is I followed the pattern for with a number of rows, I think for the size small. And it's just a little bit like the ruffles, the you can see the design. It has um, that kind of uh, kind of more open, lacy like design at the top, and then um, you make increases, so you get this ruffled look, which I really, really like. This is very much uh, a style that I like. Um, however, I should have made this part a bit longer or like taller because it starts a little bit too high, like the like a, a bit. Ideally, I would like it to start exactly, you know, at the top of the breasts. And it's a bit too high, but what I'm thinking is, you know, when there's more weight, it might drape kind of differently or, you know, kind of pull it a bit differently. So I tried actually to start the back and I actually stitched them together at the shoulders and tried it on like this. And yeah, it, it wasn't great. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this, like continue to the length that I want it to be. Then I will do, um, because I can't really, I don't think I can really add here more rows and make it look nice. I could try and see, you know, just like add, like add new yarn and just make a few more rows here, like full rows. But what I was thinking was that I might just do like little um, shoulder straps with like half double crochets. I thought I might do that. Now, as for the back, um, with my anatomy or just like body shape, I definitely want to have this whole part lower. Uh, on the back. So I already started with more rows here before I even get to the open part and then do the increases. Uh, my point in telling you this is, first of all, share my pain. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's still a really, really fun project and I am enjoying this yarn. I'm not sure how the quality is. It kind of, it doesn't really feel very luxurious. Uh, but it is very easy to work with and I do like the way that it looks and drapes and everything and the color is gorgeous. But um, yeah, um, so I'm going to kind of adjust a bit the back. I also don't know if I will make it as roughly in the back as in the front. I don't know if that's like necessary. Uh, I think I could probably do a little less increases. Uh, I think personally it's better to try things and then frog it and end up with, you know, a perfect or near perfect garment than kind of just like not mess with it, follow the pattern and um, have a result that is, you know, just could have been better if one makes certain adjustments. So yeah, I think that'll be the plan. I think I'll just go on with this make it as long as I want to and then do the back and then uh, try attaching them, see how that looks. And if it doesn't look right, then just add a few more rows for the shoulders so that everything kind of sits exactly where I want it to be. So I wanted to share this with you. The point is also, you know, just so you can see it's not so complicated, I think. And uh, I think it's worth taking the time, if possible, trying it on. That's really the reason that I um, I seamed the shoulders, you know, I seemed like eight stitches here on each side, then tried it on, and it kind of already gave me an idea of things I should um, watch out for. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do, and this is where I'm at. And again, if you're starting a project, you're not feeling it, I really think you should stop instead of like spending more time on something you're not excited about and you, you know, you don't know if you're going to wear it or something or anything. Um, that's how I feel. I will take this apart and yeah, I think I'll try that summer top. It's, uh, it was like a full tutorial I saw on YouTube. 
she used a cotton blend I'll try if I remember I'll try to link it it looked really pretty and I think I think it might look good with this um, yarn so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and if you have any tips ideas suggestions please leave them below I would love to know I really consider myself as kind of like an advanced beginner and I definitely don't have a lot of experience in con like construction of uh, garments. So I would love to know um, your uh, thoughts and suggestions if you have uh, experience with this and how you, you know, problem solve <laughs> your issues. But yeah, I think the, the you know, the take home or takeaway message is to be flexible and, you know, just like feel comfortable once you understand the pattern and what is supposed to go where and how it's supposed to look you can really adjust to fit your body that's it thanks again i'll see you soon in another video bye bye